one of the Second Doctor's most celebrated stories has come back from the deep in a new animated form. So let's take a look inside this package. Now this looks like a pretty impressive package. Not only have we got all six of the Patrick Troughton stories episodes back on lovely Blu-ray, albeit in animated form, but there's a load of extras too. Yeah, there's a load of stuff. Audio commentaries, surviving footage, so that's good. The surviving footage that we have got is still here. Uh, a featurette about animating Fury from the Deep. Fury from the Deep teaser trailer. The Cruel Sea, Surviving Fury from the Deep, which I think is a documentary. There's another feature out on the visual effects of the story. So once again, I have to say, BBC Studios has gone all out. I haven't actually seen Fury from the Deep in any form apart from the odd clip. And that's quite surprising, admittedly, because I write scary stuff for a living, and Fury from the Deep is renowned to be one of the more scary stories in Doctor Who history, certainly during the Second Doctor's reign. This video is an unboxing video, but if it does well enough and I can find the time, I may also do a follow-up review video once I've watched this beauty, so let me know in comments if you'd like that to happen. I also want to know what you think of the packaging, and also just the fact that Fury from the Deep is being released. At the end of this video, by the way, I'm going to show you the menu screens on each of the three discs, so hang around. Shall we start with the cover, shall we? Yes. I think it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. By the way, the tentacles on this are kind of, um, what do you call it, embossed? I don't know, you can see, I don't know, can you see at all? Can you see at all the difference there? Maybe I'll try and capture that in a close-up shot. We shall see. But anyway, I think it's a great, lively cover. You've got tentacles. What could possibly be better in Doctor Who? And on the back here, you've got a few uh, illustrations from the story, and you've got the whole list of extras. This release obviously has a slip case which is always nice. I'm a big fan of a slip case. Well, they certainly give you more to unbox, that's for sure. But they're also just very cool, aren't they? I think they're, and they look great on the shelf. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, liking those slip casey apples. I bet you didn't expect to hear the phrase slip casey apples today, did you? But here we are. That's the beauty of life, unpredictable. I think I might have to do an edit here. Jesus. Yep, definitely going to be editing this bit out. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 Oh yes, oh yes. Right, we're inside and um, no surprises here. It looks exactly the same as the outside, except for the fact, obviously, that the tentacles and the title aren't embossed because we now have a standard Blu-ray um, Amore case, I think it's called. I don't think I've made that up. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay, there's the Fury from the Deep booklet. Let's take a look at the uh, what's on each of the discs, shall we? Mm -hmm. So you've got the cover image there, and the cover image again, and indeed, this may shock you, but on disc three, you have the cover image. Fair enough, it's not quite like the uh, the collection season releases, is it? Where you expect each Blu-ray disc to have a different image on it. As much as this is an unboxing video, and I love a bit of packaging and quality packaging at that, what really matters is the content. So let me know if you would like me to review this. Get down in comments and tell me. We have three discs, as I said, and that's always nice. Three discs always makes you feel like you've got a really comprehensive package, doesn't it? Absolutely chock full of stuff. Oh, episode six behind the scenes footage, by the way. I didn't tell you about that. I wanted to keep that under my hat. Or maybe I just didn't read it the first time around. Let's have a look at this booklet. An intro here written in July by uh, Gary Russell, who has, of course, done lots of things in Doctor Who in various capacities. Yeah, this is Gary writing about directing this animated version of Fury from the Deep. Over the page from Gary's intro, we've got production notes written by Andrew Pixley as well. Yes! Oh, you can't beat a bit of Andrew Pixley. What a lovely man, a genuinely lovely man, and I've always loved his work. You know, whenever I, when I write for Doctor Who magazine, Andrew Pixley writes to tell me how much he really enjoyed it, and uh, he's just such a lovely guy. 
there's so much stuff here. Doctor Who at Ealing. The um, the Cruel Sea. Let's see. There's a bit more description of what the Cruel Sea might be. That's a pretty good effort. Yeah, I can remember the um, the director Chris Chapman tweeting about this, tweeting pictures from this documentary and intimating that that's this uh, dock has been quite a number. Yeah, they're basically going out into the middle of nowhere on the ocean. There's also a full set of camera scripts in the uh, PDF department uh, for Fury of the Deep. A list of credits on the back with all the transmission details. This is a really nice booklet. Happy with that. And I can see that there's something lurking away in the back of this, uh, of this sleeve. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow, look at that. For people who want to have the Blu-ray among their DVDs, because obviously this is styled along the lines of the classic DVD range. Marvellous. Okay, that's the packaging. Now I'm going to show you the menu screens. Here we are. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Disc one. Let's have a look through the special features because let's be honest, that's, that's what we're really interested in, isn't it? So there's the surviving footage, the episode six film trims, and episode six behind the scenes eight millimeter footage. Lovely. Let's have a look at the audio options there for the audio heads. Subtitles. We got the info text in the um, subtitles here. Yes, I really like Infotext. I know I say this in every video, uh, and I say that because it's true. Here's disc two, and I forgot to um, turn the volume up on the first disc. Well, actually, I didn't turn the volume up for fear that there might be some kind of copyrighted music on there, but this just sounds like a bit of uh, background Atmos, so hopefully it should be okay. Straight to special features then on disc two animating fury from the deep yeah documentary about the whole process and a teaser so these episodes on disc two are the color versions of the um of the story of the animated reconstruction so that's another fantastic thing about this set we've not only got the uh the black and white animated reconstruction but the um the color animated reconstruction you got info text on here again, but I'm assuming I'm assuming the info text is the same as on the black and white version. Okay, let's have a look at disc three, which should have the real meat of the special features. Oh my God! See, I hadn't absorbed this this information, but this disc features an actual kind of telephoto reconstruction of Fury from the Deep using off-screen tele snaps and soundtrack recordings plus existing film material. This has optional narration by Fraser Hines. That is incredible. So basically there's three versions of Fury from the Deep on this set. That is very impressive. Very impressive indeed. I wonder which one I'm going to watch. I don't know. I might watch the black and white animated one. So there's the Cruel Sea. There, yeah, Chris Chapman's documentary. You've got the photo gallery, the slide audio drama an interview with Peter Day and an interview with Victor Pemberton. That, my friends, is a well-rounded package. Absolutely brilliant stuff. In about 23 seconds, I'm going to show you four more videos on this channel with a Doctor Who theme that you might want to carry on watching. But before then, look at some of the lovely people who support me on Patreon and help this channel grow. And in return, these people get extended versions of YouTube videos, early access to YouTube videos, and they even get videos that are just for them. If you'd like to consider joining this VIP club, then have a look downstairs in the video description for the link. And don't forget to embrace your obsessions.